Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good afternoon, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joshua Franson, and we have a nice calm day ahead of us. We do have some clouds beginning to move in from the west, but otherwise nothing unpleasant today, but that's going to change. But first, let's break down today for you. Friday, partly cloudy skies during the afternoon and into the evening hours, we will be partly cloudy. Maybe some spots that are more clear than others, but overall just generally partly cloudy. Overnight, we'll be partly cloudy again, fairly calm. And then into tomorrow morning, partly cloudy. Maybe some showers out in southwestern Iowa, but those will avoid us. We'll just be left with clouds throughout the whole day. And this will even continue to persist into the afternoon before maybe some showers tomorrow night begin to form. And then we finally get a chance at a possible isolated storm or two across our viewing area. But overall, just generally for the next today and tomorrow, Partly cloudy conditions before maybe an isolated storm tomorrow evening and into the overnight hours. But coming up, we're going to heat up. The wind direction is going to blast out of the south, and that's going to drive up our temperatures. We see it here on Saturday, 86, Sunday, 92, Monday, 94. And this is going to make us feel quite warm and uncomfortable due to the humidity. Tuesday, we drop down just a little bit due to some northerlies but then we'll continue to drop off slowly throughout the rest of the week. And this is because there is a ridge of high pressure over Texas that's going to jump up to Iowa this weekend, and that's going to make the air feel very uncomfortable as we sit underneath this giant dome of heat. Eventually it will taper off though as it leaves our area and shifts southeast by midweek, and then we'll be back to those upper 70 degrees temps that are very pleasant for us. But we're going to have to get through this first little surge of heat. Dew points are going to go up Friday. Today, very pleasant at 61, but then we surge into the weekend and carry through Monday, 71, 74, and 74. So that is quite uncomfortable and the air is going to feel quite thick outside. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you're wearing loose fitting clothing and the wind might not even help because it's going to be blasting out of the south, almost like somebody's blowing an uh, air dryer in your face or hair dryer. But Tuesday we will taper off again and then that will continue throughout the rest of next week. Those two points will also continue the fall. So here's your heat indices. Saturday 92, Sunday 102, Monday 105. So Monday is going to be the hottest day of the bunch, but all generally very uncomfortable and warm outside. And Tuesday is still a little bit uncomfortable as well, also being at 92 like Saturday. But once we're through it, this should drop off and we should feel a lot nicer outside. Heat risk potential. Today, not really anything major, very minor heat risk potential if you're out in the sun for too long, but Saturday is when we see that moderate kick in, and that's when we feel a lot more of that heat because that's when the dew point is surging into the lower 70s, and when that happens, our heat risk goes up. When we get closer to the mid-70s dew points, that's when we see it go to major, and we're, most of our coverage area is just covered in this absolutely massive heat risk. And then by Monday, the hottest day, we see little spots of the extreme, especially over Waterloo and maybe just a little bit east of Cedar Rapids over Tama. So just make sure you are watching out for the intense temperatures because it will continue to build through Monday and then we'll taper off Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. So we will have to push through this, but today will be our last pleasant day. So get out and enjoy it while you can. We'll be sitting in the upper 70s, lower 80s, a mix of sunshine and clouds, otherwise mostly partly cloudy. Nice southeast or southerly wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Tonight we'll drop down to the lower 60s. Some areas further south will be in the mid 60s, but overall still comfortable once again. Partly cloudy skies and a nice southeasterly breeze at 5 to 10. City by city forecast showing us Saturday. We see that heat begin to kick up. Maybe a chance of storms in the evening sitting in the middle 80s, and then Sunday, mostly sunny skies, upper 80s to 90 degree temperatures, and we'll probably feel like 90 consistently due to those dew points. And then Monday, we see that very hot day at 94 degrees. That's why we have those yellow alert days out there due to those heat indices, but that will drop off Tuesday with partly cloudy skies. And then the rain will help us cool down later in the week before a very nice weekend to kick off September.